Not many robotics companies make robots quite like Boston Dynamics. Whenever the firm shares new footage of their machines, they create a great sensation. In fact, no other company can boast legions of fans online with their creations. Boston Dynamics is renowned for developing a series of dynamic, highly mobile robots, including Big Dog, Spot, Atlas, and much more. Welcome back to AI Science. Let's jump into Boston Dynamics as they have never failed to wow us with their works. Today, we'll take a deep look into what's happening in the Boston Dynamics world. The Robot Dog Olympics The event saw numerous coders from industry and defense gather to discover robot dogs' capabilities. While Robot Dog Olympics sounds like sci-fi, the event aimed to investigate some of the real applications of robotic dogs within the British military, creating tax solutions for them. Almost 40 coders converged at the Military of Defense Abbey in Bristol to participate in the event. The coders were challenged to program the dogs to do a 50-meter sprint, a gymnastics routine, and problem-solving. The Future Capabilities Group ran the event in association with Team Defense Information, an organization that helps to develop solutions for the front line. Working in teams, the coders operated four spot robotic dogs manufactured by Boston Dynamics to complete all the tasks. The dog even drew the Olympic ring to prove its dexterity. The spot robots are designed to perform non-offensive tasks deliver food and medicine into disaster areas and protect troops by scanning and searching. The customer lead at DENS, Colonel Dan Anders Brown, quoted in a statement, The coders have confirmed what we already knew. These are highly capable systems and could significantly reduce risk to the life of our soldiers by removing the requirement to carry out the dangerous activities in the modern battle space. Natasha Dell, an algorithm engineer from Thales, added that she was immensely surprised by how agile and responsive the robotic dogs were, and she praised the machine's agility and speed with which they move. Atlas masters it yet again. The humanoid robot Atlas has done it yet again. If you're unfamiliar, Atlas is a bipedal robot developed by Boston Dynamics with funding and oversight from the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Following the grand success of the jumping robot man and the dog that can open doors, Boston Dynamics have now released a promo of Atlas, which can run just like humans. You have already seen the robot dance. Now watch them parkour. In the latest video, Atlas seems to jump over boxes and run across a balance beam. The robot can be spotted easily jogging through a park before jumping a log. The Atlas has taken its spot as the robot, which backflipped off a box with the skill of a professional gymnast. The group's YouTube video demonstrating the robot's athletic capabilities has amassed over 11 million views. First, we had driverless cars. Now we have people, said one viewer, while another exclaimed, it's impressive and frightening at the same time. A robot dog that can clean your house? With the field of robotics advancing every day, it seems that there will come a time when each household will have a robotic helper pet, especially if Boston Dynamics continues at this pace. Meet Spot Mini, the smaller variant of the company's earlier robot, the agile four-legged with an attachable arm that looks like a giraffe's neck, is the smallest dog robot yet. Its mainframe has a quick disconnect battery and stereo cameras in the front, side, and rear, and can be upgraded with a series of attachments to the top, including an articulated arm. The Spot Mini can get into spots where large robots can't, it can scootle across the house and can easily crawl beneath tables, but most importantly, it can do dishes. The Spot Mini weighs 25 kilograms dripping wet or 30 kilograms with arms attached. The company claims that the Spot Mini is the quietest robot they have ever built. The American company previously owned by Alphabet had unleashed skeletal animal human hybrid machines after being undertaken by Hyundai Motor Group. Robot fighting against armed man. The American company's door-opening robot can even fight against humans now. In the latest video published by Boston Dynamics, you can see the Spot Mini robot, the tiny four-legged robot opening a door when a man armed with a hockey stick is opposing it. Despite a man's initial efforts to prevent the robot's arms from reaching the door, Spot Mini gradually grabs a firm grip on the door's handle. The robot manages to turn the handle and pulls the door open the door. He then tries to push the door shut with a stick, but Spot Mini easily overcomes the hurdle and flings the door wide open. With a good turn of speed, the man even gets hold of a piece of material sticking out of Spot Mini's backside and uses it to drag the robot backward. The robot seems to struggle with its arm outstretched to hold the door open and its legs seem about to fail in a desperate fight to get hold of the door handle again. When the man relaxes his efforts, the robot seems to take his position perfectly, 
opens the door and walks through it easily. In the footage, the robot is then driven to the door points, points its hand at the door handle, and is given the go command. Astonishingly, the robot autonomously proceeds from this position with external help. In another clip, Spot Mini seems to open the door and keep it open, allowing another robot to pass through. Boston Dynamics claims that this event is going to be a process to test the robot's ability to adjust the obstacles. A camera in its hands can easily sense door handles, and the cameras on the body determine if the door is open or closed and helps it navigate through them. With this much done, the company also claims that the Spot Mini was not harmed or irritated, which showcases the robot's durability. Spot Mini has provoked serious discussions in the world of robotics. Boston Dynamics Project to Create Humanoid Robots Boston Dynamics is the company that often changes our perspective on what robots can do or how far they can advance. They never fail to earn millions of likes on YouTube with clippings that showcase their creations. Among their renowned creations is the Atlas, the humanoid robot known for showing unrivaled ability in dancing, landing perfect backflips and jumping over obstacles. The American Robot Makers are a for-profit organization who aims to commercialize its technology and sell products. From another perspective, Boston Dynamics is a workshop filled with engineers and scientists who wish to push their limits of science despite commercial benefits. Aligning these two goals is very tricky, given the fact that Boston Dynamics have changed its ownership several times, going from Google to Hyundai. From its works, the company seems to create a successful business model. Numerous clippings show a few commercial robots, including the four-legged multi-purpose spot robot and Stretch, a mobile robo-arm that can move boxes. Both have found multiple applications in different industries, and with the manufacturing capacity of Hyundai, Boston Dynamics aims to turn them into profitable projects. However, Atlas seems to be the company's research platform rather than a commercial project. And the obvious reason could be the fact that we humans have designed our cities, factories, and homes to accommodate our physique. Even though biped robots are hard to create, they could have a great advantage over existing robots that are restricted to specific environments, flat surfaces, and so on. The most advanced robot, Atlas, is still a long way from achieving the versatile mobility skills of humans. Boston Dynamics even quotes in its blog post, a robot's ability to complete a backflip may never prove to be useful in a commercial setting. When robots can respond to their environments with the same talent level as an average human, the range of applications will be boundless. And with this pace of advancement in the field of robotics, the goal doesn't seem too far away. During its existence, the company has received $37 million in funding. According to reports in 2020, the company sold around 250 spot robots with a price tag of $74,500, earning around $18,625,000. With three new robots planned to be released in the coming years, the company is expected to take leaps and bounds in the fields of robotics. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. If you find the video informative, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to enable the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos. And we'll see you soon with another video. Until then, adios.